West Vigo Vikings recently capped off another stellar regular season. They went 23 and 1 this year and ranked third in the state. As if the Vikings needed any more help in their sectional, they're the host school this year and will have home field advantage. Well, that field was underwater at 5 o'clock tonight when the first pitch between West Vigo and Brown County was set to get underway. The grounds crew did a tremendous job out there. 45 minutes later, we were ready for some baseball action. Bottom one, leadoff man Jordan Pearson. He gets things started. He pulls out his gap card here and does a little shopping. Just to the right of the 375 sign in right center field, the leadoff double for Pearson. That would go well for West Vigo. Pearson, he would come across to score on Jeremy Lucas's RBI single through the left side. Vikings, they jump out to a 1-0 lead. Next batter at the dish for the Vikings is Aaron Welch. He's going to ground this one to short. Hey, good things happen when you put the ball in play. Score that one a fielder's choice. Scoring on the play is Cameron Fagg. West Vigo led 2-0 after one. They win their sectional opener over Brown County tonight. 4-1 was the final. In the 4A sectionals at Martinsville, Northview won big over the Artesians. Your final score was 13 to nothing in seven innings. In game number two south, they got a 1-0 win behind a huge pitching performance from sophomore A.J. Reed. Reed struck out 16 and went the distance tonight, giving up only two hits. South and Northview will square off Monday night in the semifinals. In the 1A sectionals tonight, North Central beat WRV 12-2. They'll play Clay City on Monday night. Over in Clay County, the Northview Mooresville softball matchup was originally scheduled for Tuesday night after rain on Tuesday and lightning on Wednesday. Here we are on Thursday night. Lady Knights didn't respond well to the long layoff. Brittany Maurer do the pitch, doing the pitching duties for Mooresville, and she was cruising. Knights couldn't seem to get that key hit when they needed it. Final play of the game, and Kylie McKee grounds to short. Shelby Owler, she tags for the force out. Northview falls to Mooresville, 9-zip. Tomorrow night, it's Mooresville against Plainfield for the sectional title. Game time in that one is set for 5.30.